Right now, again, police are on the uh, the scene of another shooting. This was at a, a church that also operates a daycare near 10th and Holmes. Well, let's get right out to Lindsay Stone now because this is just um, really unimaginable. Lindsay, what do you know right now about this church and the daycare? Mm -hmm. We just spoke with police moments ago and they confirmed, I mean, I can't even believe this is coming out of my mouth, that a woman dropping off her children was gunned down right in the parking lot of that daycare, right in front of her children. We've not been told how many kids she has, but we know that her children weren't the only witnesses. This is right in the middle of drop-off. We're talking about 7.20 this morning, and we know other parents and other children saw this happen this morning. I'm going to step out of the way here. We got here a couple of minutes ago, and I can tell you it was a very, very graphic scene. We've seen a lot of community members grieving loudly, walking up in the streets, just taking in this horrible scene. Police are telling us that multiple shots were fired. They haven't said how many, but we do know a woman has died this morning. Now, as you just mentioned, they are escorting all of the children out of, that, uh, out of the daycare, out the back entrance, down an alleyway. They believe right now that they have... Um, several, a person of interest, a suspect. They've not released that description because they've had different descriptions from witnesses. So they're not releasing a suspect's description at this time. There's no one in custody, but right now police are working to get answers right now. Again, this is just a horrible situation. Police, you know, kind of said very emotionally to me that there are a lot of people who are upset this morning. A lot of kids, a lot of parents saw this. Again, happening at 7.20, right in the middle of that drop-off time. Right now, we're working to get more answers. I'm trying to get that suspect description for you. But again, we don't have a lot of answers right now. Still a lot of questions. We're pretty far back from the scene right now because unfortunately, as I came upon this, this is a very, very graphic scene. One of the worst I've seen. And to just think about the fact that her children saw this is honestly, Angela and Zach, just unimaginable right now. So we're going to work to get that suspect description. Police did want to mention they don't believe that this is a threat to the public. They believe this is some sort of targeted attack. So we're going to work to get information to you as soon as we know more. We should have an update hopefully in about 45 minutes. I'll send it back to you both in the studio. Lindsay, thank you. Yeah, I had reached out to Charity Church Child Care Center when we first got this information. And the woman was a bit frantic, mm -hmm. just saying that all of the kids were safe. Um, at that point, she did not think that the kids in there had seen it. But obviously now we know that at least the children yeah. of this mother of these children and have had to witness this. If this is a directed attack, then presumably you, you can assume that the two knew each other. Yeah. So the hope would be that someone knows who this person yeah. is and can direct police to that uh, that individual. Yeah, there was yeah. a description put out right away um, on police scanner. But again, as you heard Lindsay say, um, Jim, as we bring you into to do weather, um, now there's maybe some conflicting information on maybe what um, that person was wearing. So again, um, when it first came out, they had a car in a description. So we'll wait till we get that really solidified before we mention it here on the news. Yeah, I imagine